My name is Steve Brown, the VP of Sales at Arium. A lot of people we talk to every day uh, don't don't realize that there are different ways to approach your IT management within your business. I'm going to help you understand a couple of different ways to think about it and ultimately how to come to a decision on the best thing for your business. There are different ways to uh, to approach IT management within your business. You could staff up and build an IT team within your organization, or you could move towards a managed IT approach where you're working with a third party vendor, uh, typically known as a managed service provider that would come in and uh, be your outsource uh, partner to help either co-manage or fully manage your IT needs. And the last option uh, would be more of a, a reactive break fix model where uh, you don't really have anyone in house. You don't necessarily have uh, a, a proactive third party managed service provider and you call somebody when something breaks. When building an in-house team, the pros would include having 100% control of that staff, their objectives, their needs, while the con side, there's going to be a high cost to uh, have those employees on your payroll, uh, including the benefits and, and all the other um, costs that go along with, with staffing up. Uh, the other challenge you have is, is managing schedules and retention and, and time off, as well as uh, just staffing up and finding the right people to fit those specialty areas. There are many advantages to working with a managed service provider. Uh, th those advantages include them being cost of a cost effective solution. They're going to provide proactive management, dedicated and specialized personnel. They're going to reduce your, uh, your potential risk with a single point of failure, i.e. institutional knowledge that dies when you lose an employee. You're going to reduce your HR challenges. You're going to gain 24 seven availability of, of that technical expertise. Oftentimes you're going to get compliance expertise and areas that your business are going to need to, uh, to meet. Uh, and then lastly, you're going to gain virtual chief information and security officers at your fingertips in order to guide your business. On the downside, you're oftentimes going to lack that physical presence that an in-house IT, um, organization or person is going to have by sitting within your business. Uh, you're not going to have that dedicated IT team or person uh, solely focused on your business. And, you know, lastly, you're going to need to adopt the managed service providers processes and procedures in order to uh, work most effectively with them. And that's with the 100% third party managed service provider. There's a nice uh, middle ground in a co managed environment where you might have an IT uh, manager or specialist within your organization to handle some of the, the day to day uh, business needs while relying on this th third party managed service provider uh, to provide that expertise on some of the more challenging and, and more complex business needs and technology needs that your business will have. Another option your business has is just going with the break fix model, which means uh, you're just going to call someone when when something breaks. There are a couple of pros and cons of having a break fix approach to your IT management. On the pro side, you might be reducing your uh, your your weekly, monthly, uh, consistent uh, and reoccurring expenses related to information technology, but on the downside, you're taking a more reactive approach. And these uh, these businesses that we work with that that uh, come to us and have historically had a break fix approach, they're the ones that uh, are are left most exposed to cyber security incidents, hacks, and and ransomware attacks. Being proactive uh, and investing. Uh, a little bit each month in the long run is going to set you up for a lot more success. Being reactive versus proactive is the difference between your businesses surviving and thriving. So businesses that we work with uh, that invest in technology and have a proactive approach are the ones that are are thriving. They're shoring up their their future investments in their employees, their technology, and their business by locking down and making sure that their business systems are up to date, uh, the most recent, and setting their uh, their employees, their customers, and their ultimately their business up for success. Versus the customers that we talk to on, that have more of a reactive approach, 
those are the ones that we are usually getting called in to help clean up um, cybersecurity incidents, hacks, and uh, ransomware attacks. Ultimately, the decision that you make for your business on how to approach your IT management is going to come down to a couple of key factors. What you're able to invest and what your business goals are long term. We always recommend a proactive approach, so definitely not a break fix model. And whether or not you're going to hire an internal IT team or individual or work with a third party is going to come down to the type of, uh, of things that your business needs to do on a day to day basis. Working with a third party is typically the most effective because you're going to have the most wide range of expertise in order to worry about and take care of your day to day technology, as well as invest in the long term outlook of your your business. Making the decision to work with a managed service provider shouldn't be a difficult one. When working with Arium, we come in and provide you with a white glove experience. We're going to introduce you to our, your virtual CIO, your technical account management, and ultimately your support desk team. We're going to come in, get you set up, train you on how to work with our, our teams, and you're going to be set up for success moving forward. If I had to give you one thing to take away from this video, it would be to be proactive versus reactive so that you don't find yourself in a situation where you are ultimately trying to fight for survival because someone has uh, held your business hostage and, and for ransom because you weren't taking a proactive approach to your information technology. If you have any questions about this topic or anything else, feel free to contact Arium to help you out and give you a consult.